The family of Fallen State Police Officer Darian Jarrett is speaking out for the first time since he was killed in the line of duty in Luna County. They addressed his upbringing, his passions, and the legacy he leaves behind. News 13's Courtney Allen reports from Deming. Today, family, friends, and fellow law enforcement gathered here at State Police Headquarters in Deming, talking about the hole that Officer Jarrett's passing leaves behind. Darian no longer can do the things he loves because our hero has fallen. Gabriella Jarrett is the mother of two of Jarrett's children. She says being a father to his three kids, with a fourth on the way, was Jarrett's first and foremost passion. His favorite thing was opening up that door, having his kids run to his legs to give him big hugs and welcome him home after a long day. But due to these unfortunate events, he no longer gets that relief at the end of, of his days because our children has lost their best friend. She says the second thing Jarrett was most passionate about was protecting and serving as a New Mexico State Police Officer. He always made sure his boots were shined, his guns were cleaned, his brass was polished, and his uniform was starched to the point where it stood up on his own. He was proud of his job, and to him, it wasn't just a job because he never worked a day in his life. State Police Chief Robert Thornton says state police is honoring Jarrett by putting on their uniforms and serving their communities. I want to thank each one, one of those officers for bravely and selflessly continuing to wear the badge and to protect the people in this state despite, our, despite your grief. We're also hearing tonight from Jarrett's uncle, who is a New Mexico state police officer as well. He says Jarrett was raised in a family with strong ties to state police. We'll have more on that coming up at 10. Courtney Allen, KRQE, News 13. Jarrett was born in Silver City. He graduated from Lordsburg High School back in 2010 and later earned a bachelor's degree in administration of justice from Western New Mexico University.